I'm about to film with a low battery. Probably not the smartest thing for a YouTuber to do, but I think I'll be all right here. And I'm finally getting to my SDCC haul. I could have shown you all the majority of what I got a little bit earlier, but I felt like it'd be better just to be patient and wait and make sure that I had everything together. And uh, Anthony Nelson, YouTube friend of mine, and just I consider a friend in general, really great person. Um, he sent me uh, two of the figures that I, I wanted. So, uh, yeah, I want to be patient and make sure I had everything together. And then, you know, go ahead and get into this. Now, I do think I went ahead and revealed one item that I got previously. And this was really the main thing that I wanted. When I really looked at what SDCC had available, this is what jumped out at me. And it's not even a pop. In case you haven't seen it before, at least on my channel, I should say, I got the Batman Returns Dorbs. Now, this I picked up day one. Um, I was pretty tight on cash, but I, I had to go and have this in hand, and I'm so glad that I got it because I think each one of these looks pretty awesome. Definitely a big fan of the movie. In some ways, I think Batman Returns is, I won't say a better movie than the first Batman movie by Tim Burton, but definitely a more fun movie. You know, the first Batman movie, it was fun, but it also had more drama to it, whereas Batman Returns, for the most part, it was just fun so yeah I think they did a great job with those and by far still in my opinion Michelle Pfeiffer best cat woman ever um you know maybe somebody will top her at some point but she still stands in my mind as the best cat woman L let's not even count Halle Berry she wasn't even Selena Kyle let's not even count her but you know there's been some other iterations of cat woman as well but yeah Michelle Pfeiffer killed it Dana DeVito as the Penguin I still think was maybe a little too grotesque, but he was fun in it too, and I'm a big fan of Michael Keaton, so I'm glad that Michael Keaton is still doing his thing big time in Hollywood. Okay, now keeping it moving here, I had a friend, my, my good friend in Raleigh, that lives in Raleigh now, he's kind of bounced around, but he lives in Raleigh right now, he actually uh, helped me to pick up two other figures, and he went ahead and sent them to me, actually he sent me this set here. And um, one of them I'm trading because I, I did end up with a double. Basically, I, I purposely went ahead and got some doubles just to do like trades on top of trades to sort of help out other people to make sure that they got the SDCC pops that they wanted as well. So, yeah, I, I kind of did some shuffling with trades just to help out other people, which I definitely don't mind doing. So... Next thing I got here, you see I have the set of Dorbs, the X-Men Dorbs. Now, I've heard more than one person say that they got these and then they were, or when they saw these, that they were a little disappointed. I don't know why. I think these look pretty cool. I really do like them. Um, of course, we got Wolverine, Iceman, Colossus here. You see they actually got the names on the front. Yeah, I think they all look great. I definitely like Iceman being clear, see-through. That's pretty cool. Now, Colossus, maybe he could be a little bit shinier, but he catches the light well enough, so he looks cool. Wolverine, um, they have the little claws there, like, painted on. It'd be cool if the claws actually were separate, like, separate from his hand some. But, again, you know, it's, it's adorbs. They don't tend to get too super de detailed with them. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these. I think both of these sets of adorbs are awesome and you know, SDCC being such a huge thing for Pops, I'm, I'm still surprised at myself for just being so happy with these door sets. But of course, I did get more than these, so let's keep things moving here. I'm going to take these down. And actually, I'm going to have to um, probably bring in another shelf because I've just had my SDCC uh, Pops and figures just sitting off to the side you know waiting to do this video and I really don't know exactly where they're gonna go so yeah it might be time to bring in even more shelf space okay the next item that I have here got the rock candy Catwoman. I think they did a great job with her and you see she's obviously because um she's SDCC exclusive she's not pictured on the back along with the rest I mean they do have the main picture over here but she's not part of that series necessarily but yeah, she looks pretty awesome. I'm not going to take her out of the box right now. Um, 
SDCC figures. I'm trying to think if I've taken any of them out. I, I really don't think I have, but uh, yeah. Um, well, other than the bombshell Harley, she is considered a SDCC exclusive, I believe. But yeah, she just she had to come on out and have be up there on display. But uh, yeah, this one I'm gonna keep in the box just for now, just until I figure out where I'm actually gonna keep her because I do think the rock candy figures they they're better off outside of the packaging. So yeah, again, the only reason I'm keeping her in right now is just because I got to find a good spot for her. But they did an excellent job with her. I especially like if you can see it here by her eyes how there's actually some space there where it curves up. And it gives just even more of that cat-like appearance there. And the whip looks pretty awesome too. I can't wait to actually have that displayed so you can see the whip going all the way down to the floor by her feet. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then... Of course, she wasn't the only rock candy figure that came out. And nobody should be surprised that I also got the Harley Quinn rock candy figure. Of course, as soon as I saw this, I knew I was getting it. And it is a great looking figure as well. And again, I can't wait till I have a good spot for her to go in and take her out of this packaging to get, you know, have a better view of her. And she's actually holding, she's not holding um her traditional hammer there. It's actually a sledgehammer. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the glare there, but it's actually a sledgehammer that she's holding there. And the coloring is great. Um, the outfit looks great on everything. This is just a cool looking figure. Really happy with the Rock Candy line. Like I said before, it's unfortunate that they can't do the Women of Marvel. I think that is because they would have to be bobbleheads for this style of figure. It's certain styles of figures that they would have to be bobbleheads. And like I said, I, I just think the Rock Candy must fit into that category and that's why we don't see any Marvel ladies as rock candy figures that's unfortunate but yeah these two I'm very happy with okay now keeping it moving here in order to show you the other figures I got I am gonna have to get into a box I already uh, propped it open some here this was sent to me by Anthony Nelson that women of power box that keeps haunting me is <laughs> back in my house again so uh yeah um i already know what he sent in here it is nice that he used this box because these boxes are pretty heavy duty oh he actually um he sent a note here as well um says here uh fm terribly sorry for the delay on sending these but you will soon see there was a very good reason for doing so. Enjoy the spur of the moment extra. Okay, you see it says best wishes, Anthony Nelson. And do make sure you check out his channel. He does uh, pop hauls and um, he also, well, well, something, his channel is just to me is very unique because uh, like I said, he does pop hauls. He also does independent um, filmmaking, short films. And then he's also a wrestler. He's a wrestler and an announcer. So very um renaissance man type i would say so he has an interesting channel but yeah he also does unboxings of like subscription boxes just some of everything on his channel so do make sure you check him out um but he says spur of the moment extra so we'll see what that's about in a moment here um and i see he actually does have something covered up intentionally so yeah i guess he means for me to take a look at that last so i'll go ahead and show you the other um figures that we have here so the first one here Doctor Strange and um, after seeing that full trailer yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to this this is something I like about this figure I mean the figure looks cool to begin with um, I do agree I heard somebody else say that as a bobblehead maybe the head should have been a little bit lower but I'm sure they raised it up some to make space for the rune on his hand so I mean it's kind of a trade off there and if this figure is just sitting on a shelf then I don't think the you know the bobblehead aspect is such a big deal I think it's a really good looking pop and um, the other Doctor Strange pops that are on the way I think they look pretty awesome as well but something I really like about this box I like that they gave his um, backstory here because he's just a character that's not quite as well known to the general public as other characters like Captain America and of course Spider-Man you know, so it's really good that they did do that on this box. I think that's something they could do even more often. You know, especially if it's a, like an exclusive or not part of a particular line. Or maybe they could even have 
if it's in the line, maybe it had the figures on one side and maybe still a little background to the character on the other side. I think that'd be cool. So yeah, that's a very cool looking one. And then um, I did work out a trade with somebody else to get another Doctor Strange to um, pass along to someone else. So basically, yeah, I, I tried to make sure that I would have a double of that to help out someone else. And the same thing is true of the next pop, the Burning Walker. So this one is mine. I did have another one, but that one, like I said, is to help out someone else. So this is my keeper here. And I'm really glad to have this one. I actually, when I went to pick up the Batman Returns Dorbs, I looked at this one up close and I was like, wow. I, I was just amazed by it. Because I think the flame effect on there, you know, with the clear flames, it looks really cool. And this is actually my first zombie. I had some Walking Dead figures, but this is my first zombie. And, you know, I think this is a pretty impressive one to start with. Yeah, really happy with that one. And I'm sure at some point I will unbox this one. Again, I'm not going to do that right now. And part of it is I don't want this to be a super long video. Yeah, but I do definitely want to take a closer look at these later on. So that was it um, as far as my SDCC haul. Because there were a lot that I was, I was kind of, you know, iffy on. So a lot of the ones I was iffy on, I just ended up passing on them. Like, I thought about Doomsday, but I don't know I. The price is probably one thing that kind of turned me away from it. So hopefully I won't regret that later. I do think Doomsday looks cool as a pop. So I don't know. I, I'll just wait and see. Maybe they'll do a variation or something later on. And we'll, we'll see there. But most of the other ones that came out, I just wasn't super interested in. The Deadpool's definitely not for me. I, I got more than enough Deadpool. Um, you know, and there are some other ones. They, they're, I'm, cl I'm glad that they made them like the... Um, I think there was something else made for Game of Thrones and uh you know there's been some Harry Potter recently the uh, Powerpuff Girls these different ones I'm glad that they made them I'm glad there was a good variety so that everybody could be happy with something you know everybody could find find something to be happy with so I definitely appreciate that but just for me personally there wasn't a whole lot that I wanted but um let's go in and see what this surprise is that um Anthony Nelson decided to include and he really didn't have to send anything else i mean i've still been paying him back for being so kind and helping me to get my holy grail the notorious big so yeah he really didn't have to do this but yeah we're going to see what it is and <laughs> wow i'm sorry i'm being rude right now but i'm just uh a little in shock here let me just go ahead and show you why. Um, so one of the big, one one of the big uh, SDCC exclusives, which you actually had to be at the convention to get, were the um, the blue and the white Duck Dodgers pop figures, and um, yeah, those uh, went pretty quickly. I'm sure at the convention, and then people, you know, were flipping them online for crazy prices, and then. The Funko Shop, you actually see it says here, FunkoShop.com exclusive. They put up a new exclusive uh, every Wednesday. And, um, yeah, out of nowhere, they put up this green one. And uh, I was strapped for cash, and I was trying to, you know, see if... Um, well, actually, I had money on me, but I didn't have money in my account at the time. See, I took the money out to take care of some things. So I didn't really have money in my account, and I was trying to... See if somebody could help me out and I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And by the time I did, it was gone. Like this sold ridiculously fast. So I'm amazed that um, Anthony Nelson was able to get this. And um, please forgive me if the, I know my screen is getting dim. I'm not sure if that's going to affect the video quality or not. I know it's because my battery is low. But um, I don't even know what to say. This, this is amazing. Anthony Nelson, I, I can't thank you enough. I thought for sure that this pop would be a goner for me. Um, I definitely want to take a look at the glow later on. Maybe I'll do that in a future video because I'm going to have to charge my phone up for a while with this one um, after this one. But uh, wow, that is amazing. I, I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful. Um, I said Anthony Nelson is just an amazing, amazingly kind person, really cool guy. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. That that's amazing. Um, 
maybe I better wrap this up before I mess around and get emotional because, uh, I mean, and I'm not exaggerating because Anthony Nelson, you know, he threw in this surprise along with these pops that he sent. And then I've had several other people that sent me, you know, birthday gifts. And I mean, this community just never fails to amaze me. People can be so kind. And, you know, I try to be as kind as I can in return. And, uh, you know, I do my giveaways on a regular. I, I try to look out for people and do hunting for people. Like, I know um, that that exclusive Ray is coming to Walgreens. So I'll be in, in Walgreens pretty soon trying to find that for people. A lot of Star Wars pops have passed through my house. And I don't even collect Star Wars. It's all been to help out other people. But, um, you know, just to see that love in return from the community, it's, it's amazing. And, yeah, I, I'm just... I'm amazed right now. You know, you all are awesome. Anthony Nelson, you are definitely an awesome individual. Uh, I can't say enough about that. Please support his channel. Please do that. Make sure you check his channel out. And, um, yeah, th this was my SDCC haul plus an amazing bonus there. Yeah, and uh, you all take care. Till next time.